application of compression therapy is edema. Anyway, edema in the hand or in the leg. Extremities. If they have edema, they usually hmm. use this compression therapy. The major indication, as I said, edema. The edema may come because of injury, because of surgery, because of cancer, because of lymph node removal. Any of these reasons may cause edema. So when edema happens, they indicate for this compression therapy. We have different kinds of uh, compression units. See, this is for whole leg. So almost it fits for whole leg. Okay? And this is for half leg. Or for upper extremity. Okay, this compression therapy, if you see here, it has chambers like one, two, three. Okay, there are chambers. Why these chambers are there? If you want, there are two types of compression. That is a overall compression or segmental compression. The segmental compression means it starts first distally, <coughs> then increases, then increases, then it goes in towards proximal. So it squeezes first in the distal aspect. Then once the edema comes to the next chamber, again the squeeze happens there and it goes on to the next level. So that's why there are chambers in the uh, this particular sleeve. So when patient comes, the most important thing is you have to see the indication. Then you have to rule out the contraindications. Like if the patient has any cardiac problems, any edema happening because of cardiac problem or any uh, arterial sclerosis or any kind of deep vein thrombosis in severe conditions or any circulation problems in lower extremity all these things you need to rule out as a contraindications and big list is given in your uh, powerpoint so make sure you rule out those contraindications once you rule out contraindications positioning of the patient usually the part which is affected should be elevated the part which is affected should be elevated so can you sit once Okay, right now. So now I am treating this this part of the leg. So I want to elevate that particular leg. See, like can you slide this more down? Okay, you can keep it in more elevation. And this support you can fill with a pillow. Mm. You can put one more pillow. Have a pillow. And you keep it in elevation. I think there is no pillow here. But anyway, Look, I remember, I remember you have to. Ma, I have to. Ma, I have to. So you need to get a pillow. So that there will be support for whole leg. What happens if there is no pillow is knee will go for hyperextension. Because knee goes for hyperextension, it, it is an uncomfortable feeling for the basis. So that's why the whole leg has to be supported. Once they support, put the sleeve. No, with the cloth. On the cloth, yes. Okay, so you are going to keep it on the cloth. Can you keep the leg here? So close the extremity in the, the sleeve. So you welcome the patient, pull out the contraindication, position the patient comfortably. Do it in an elevation, which is important. If it is upper extremity, you keep one or two pillows here and you elevate it. Okay? If it is lower extremity, you elevate like this. You can use full sleeve if the edema is there throughout the leg. If it is only in the leg portion, then you can use half sleeve. Okay? Now, 
as soon as you go to the program there is something called load programs you will see here so just press the load program you have many indications like 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so i currently i selected one program called lymphedema so lymphedema the program says here the time is 20 minutes they are using only leg portion and uh, the pressure it is overall 70 mm of hg the pressure is there in slide you would have seen yesterday or uh, sorry today for lower extremity you can use pressure from 60 to 100 mm of hg for upper extremity you can use a pressure between 40 to 60 mm of hg so you have option from 60 to 100 here so i select 80 okay so I have selected 80 pressure then if you want to change something there is a modify button you can press the modify button you can preview you can change the time you can change the indication okay like that you can change once you are ready then press the green button the pressure will start okay so now it is going in a segmental pressure it goes to first compartment second compartment third compartment like that the pressure will be going pressure increasing in the okay. it's like a the pressure if you you can come and with this here pressure and here pressure one person can come and feel the pressure come see here no pressure no way. here more pressure oh. okay so it starts here first then it comes here then it comes here, so, uh, then it comes here, up to here it is. This is distal, this is proximal. It starts from distal and it goes towards proximal. This is called segmental. Okay, segmental pressure. It's very good for uh, edema. Any kind of edema, it's like squeezing, like a massage. It squeezes and push the secretions into the proximal body. So, here if you come here, you can see the pressure going on which compartment, like first compartment, second compartment, third compartment. Mm. It, when it is black means it indicating that pressure is increasing in that compartment. Okay? So, when to stop the treatment? <coughs> For example, if patient has put the leg inside, okay? Suddenly you want to stop because patient says I am having pain, sudden pain because it is edema and you are compressing it. So patient may feel pain. If they feel pain during the treatment, stop the machine and open the GP immediately. Okay? Open the GP immediately that will decrease the pressure. So stopping? No, no, coins. <laughs> okay. So he wants it to wait for 20 minutes. So now compartment, yeah, this compartment will take the pressure. And it is. Man, it is like. How? How? Yeah, this is air. There are two types. One is with air. One is with the water, cold water. Okay. But this mission is with air. same uh, type. This is called as pneumatic compression. Pneumatic means air, pneumatic compression therapy means compression by using air, pneumatic compression. Okay, so any more doubts? No. Circumferential pressure, that means everything together. Sequential pressure, that means one segment, second segment, third segment. Okay, you have two types, for full leg, for half leg, or for full hand, half hand, you can use any one. This is uh, full or no? Half. Half. Full. Yeah, this is full. Next. Oh, wow, that's good. Okay? That's good. 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 That's Subject, sir. Finish? Yeah.